everyone, Dolphin Oracle here again tonight. As promised, checking out here uh, a product called Zotero, which my lovely wife, Mrs. Oracle, say hello. Hello. She says hello well. Uh, uses for her research in her uh, doctoral studies uh, towards her PhD in education. So, uh, uh, tell us what Zotero is and why you can't live without it. Yeah. So, uh, when I started working on my dissertation, um, it became very painfully obvious very quickly that I needed a way to organize the, the articles that I was having to reference and I was reading. Organization is not my strong suit. So we kind of looked into some different bibliographic organizers. Um, Zotero's uh, open source. Open source. And key argument towards using this product. That's important in our household, so we decided to give it a try first. And there's probably, it's a rare day that I don't announce randomly how much I love Zotero. I just shout it out while I'm doing work. I think I she love loves Zotero. it more than she loves me, to be it's honest close. with you. It's, it's close. It's close. It yeah. Really, honestly. Okay. So, so this product, Zotero, they got, of course, they've got it up here for Mac, Windows, and Linux. Their Linux install link here is a, a is a tarball that I don't particularly want to mess with. Lucky for you guys, we have it in the main Debian repos. Uh, however, there's a couple kitches, and I'll show you that right now. Um, first, I'm going to open up uh, Synaptic. Actually, I'm just going to use package install. I can do everything from here. I forgot. So, in uh, in the stable repo, there are a couple packages that we need. There is, and you can find them by hitting Zotero, typing Zotero in. Whoops, too many letters. Zotero. You want the LibreOffice package. That's going to pull in the Zotero standalone, but it's out of date in the, in, in Debian repos. Uh, it's only version 4. We want version 5 because that, that works with the web browser extensions that they supply. Uh, lucky uh, for you guys, we have the Flatpaks uh, in, enabled in here, and there is an up-to-date Zotero in the Flatpak uh, tab of MX Package Installer. That's going to bring you Zotero 5, and that's what we're going to open up. You just kind of had to live with two menu entries until until someone gets Zotero updated uh, to to a later version. That's already been installed. That part's boring, so we're not going to show it. But we are going to open up. What should I open up here? I guess open we'll up go Zotero, Zotero first. Yeah. So Zotero, and I believe that's the not good one. This is the good one, yeah. I think. So we just installed it on your computer, and I think we put in a couple of... Actually, I got of, it backwards, I think. There we go. Yeah. So we just installed it on your computer, and we put in a couple of articles just to play with it a little bit. Yes. Yeah, it's not very full right now. So what we did earlier... So this is the kind of the main Zotero screen. And... Let's see. We also need... Um, so how do I put stuff in here if I want to add another article? Right. So first you have to find the articles. Open up Chrome. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. And usually I go through my university's website and log in and use their library. But Google Scholar, you can use that. Just scholar.google.com? Yeah. Scholar.google.com. All there you right. Go. So we're looking for... Whoops, I'm searching it now. That's kind of cool. All right. Yeah. And look up something you're interested in. Uh, I don't know. Let's let's say open source in government. What go. the heck? Yep. And all these um, articles come up. Pick one. Open it up. And we'll take this Looks first good. one here on top. Okay. And then you would scope it out once it loads. See if it's something you're interested in. I mean, these are basically PDFs, but they're formatted yep. a certain way. They're formatted for the scholarly type research. Right. Okay. And up here in hey. is that your taskbar? I don't know what that's uh, called. Uh yeah, yeah. So, so yeah. the Zotero plugin when you install it when when you install it when you, I didn't when we didn't show it, we should we should have showed it. When you launch Zotero the flat pack the first time, it's gonna launch the web browser and take you to an extension download page where you can download the Google Chrome extension. There's also a Firefox extension, but on their website they don't really talk about it much. So I'm wondering if that's an old one, but the, the new one is a Chrome extension. So we installed the Chrome extension, and it's this guy right here, and it, we can do save to Zotero. Right. So I guess we'll click, click that. Click on that. Right, and you can um, pull down, and you can pick which, fo which folder 
basically you okay. want to put it in. So I created a sub collection called sub collection, and there's also the main library. I'm just gonna throw right. it in the main library. And for if now. you click the the arrow next to it. Yeah. If you want to oh. add tags, you can add right as you're saving. You can add them later. Oh, really? But I like to add unread when I pick up a new article, and then I can search for that later and see see what I haven't read yet. Fair enough. Uh, do, do I do a comma? Do I, do I just um, You can do a comma, and you can do as many as you want. Sometimes I do, like, okay. need to read this. Open Thanks source. Okay, fine. Sorry, right. C. You know what? Though we said you could spell it, you could be it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I didn't do construction. I did construction for a long time because I couldn't spell engineer. Okay. So uh, that's done. Yep. So I click done. Now that should be where? It's back in the main app? Right. So open up Zotero. All right. We got it running. Now, yep. that was the one thing we should mention too is that whenever you're working with Zotero, everything has to be open. So it, the, the Zotero app has to be open. The extension doesn't work without the app being open. The extension just links it to the links everything together. But it will elegantly tell you to open it up if you try to save an article and it's not open. It's not that it just spins its wheels or anything. It will yeah, it yeah, open. right. I think it did give us a reminder yeah. when we did and that. And there's your article. Uh, let's see. Yep. Government purposes for promoting open source. Yep. Yes. And so there it yep, is. There it is. And you can open that up. The, the uh, PDF will be there. Um, you can also, you can edit the, um, the uh, Looks like we can add notes. Name. Yep, add notes. That's what I usually uh, take my notes right there Oops. as okay, I'm reading. That's there. Okay. And then there's... Tags. You can add more tags. tags. Now this related thing, I do, you just if you have other things that are you don't use it much. I don't use it much. I'm not okay. sure what that does. All right. Well, with the yeah. tags, maybe you don't need to use it, or maybe you could add things manually if they yeah. are tied together somehow. But if okay. you go to the info, info. All yep. right. So this, um, you can edit these fields, and I do that a lot because if I look on the title here, all of everything I do with the bibliography has to be in APA format. Okay, APA format. That's uh, American uh, psych psychiatric yeah, psychological, psychological, uh, something. something. Like I don't know. APA. You, yeah, you're, APA. you researchers, you know what she means. Yeah. And um, sometimes the fields aren't in APA format, and when you do your bibliography, it'll be incorrect. So I look at the title here, and that is the capitalization isn't right for APA. Okay, so so how should it be for a, for your style? It should um, be like a sentence, not like a book title. So only the first. Oh, letter. okay. But you can you can change that. Well, these fields okay. seem like they're live, so yeah. I guess. We can change them by hand. Looks like yeah. you can modify them by hand. But if we right click, we get a transform text right. option. And you want the sentence case because for it's a, APA. For APA, you want yeah. sentence case. Now, just for full disclosure, we did try this earlier with another PDF that was full caps, all yeah. caps, and it went. We could transform into title case, like we just saw, where 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 each word, important word was was taught, was was capitalized, and then we did this sentence case too. We could not go back to t right. full caps, just so you know. So when you when you when you do this, you know, do it once, but you can always click on it and modify by hand yeah. if for some reason you want to go backwards. Yeah. Uh, undo doesn't seem to be a thing uh, and here. So if you double click on the note, and we didn't give the note a title or anything. Yeah, we didn't do anything you, with the note except if you put it in there. Double click on that, you can open it in its own window. Oh, okay. And there's actually there's yeah. an edit in a we're covering it with our video, but there's actually an edit with a separate window yeah. button down here too. And I'd like to do that when I'm reading and I'm annotating. I'll okay, have that open enough. and I'll have the PDF open so beside it. So this is a note. Yeah. Now, what I'm not seeing is. Where oh it puts, it, it, puts word, it puts the first word it puts the first thing in the in the tag okay yep. that's nice and you give it its own tag and you, you do the related tags there yep. and that's it it's done it's did it it's already it's yep. already done it saves automatically it, it this we, so this is important for when you're doing your bulk research you're finding all your articles you don't have you don't want to do a whole lot of fussing around you just want to get the information get it in a format that you can deal with later you've got your tags you've got your case editing. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's in here. You can open the PDF. So it's in here. What now? Okay, this is where the fun starts. Open up um, a LibreOffice. LibreOffice. Now we're talking. So you're writing away. Write something. Write something. I don't care, anything. Uh, antics is great, and so is MX. Yeah, and let's pretend that is a that is a quote or that is information from one of the articles that we have in Zotero. And okay. we need to put a citation in. 
So you click on the insert citation. Ah, the because we yeah. install, remember, we installed the LibreOffice integration plugin, and this is what it gives you. You know what? This does, my dark theme is not doing us any favors, but this we have insert citation, we have edit citation, we have insert bibliography and edit bibliography, and we also have some refresh preferences. This this tool, but this whole toolbar right here is actually I pulled the wrong one. Um, whoops. Uh, this whole toolbar right here is is the uh, is the Zotero, Zotero plugin, is yeah. Zotero toolbar. But so we want to insert added. a citation. We want yep. to insert a citation, so we're going to insert a citation. <clears throat> yep, and it asks you which format you want. We want APA. So that's already my American Psychological Association. There, there we go. So I didn't butcher you, APA guys. I just didn't couldn't remember off the top of my head. Yeah. So, All right. Okay. Reference marks, blah blah blah. Yep. Okay, so you guys. Yes. And then you can search. You can search by the title. You can search by the author. I don't remember, but yeah. I remember we searched for open source. Yep. And there it was. There's yep. the thing. And now we've got our citation. Yep. Hit enter. Hit enter. Boom. It's, in it's there. done. It's in there. And over the course of your paper, you'll probably have a lot more citations. I mean, there's 14 pages. There's seven pages of stuff in her first chapter. So, yeah, there's a lot of citations. Yep. So when you go to build your bibliography, that is automated. If you go to insert bibliography, insert bibliography, yeah, insert bibliography. All right, builds it for you. Everything that you have cited is in the bibliography, and it goes in and. Oh, that's order. impressive! Yeah. I did not realize that that was doing it for all the citations that were in the file. Yeah. Oh, that's kind of man. I, I could have used that in high school for my five citations. <laughs> you know, those five things in your senior paper. Whoo! Okay, and it's all property formatted. Yep. And if it's not, you can go in and, and you edit, can edit it. it. If you, you look you, at you, it and you missed a field being not in, and you can either standard. go back and edit the field, or you can go back and edit this. Yep. If you make a change, I guess you got a refresh button here someplace. Yep. That I saw. Uh, right refresh. There. Yep. So it re it does it again. Okay, that that's pretty cool. Now, and it, if you want to put in another one just to see, I think another one we looked at was Thomas. There's one by Thomas. Thomas. Yeah. Thomas. So let's just put the citation yep. in. Thomas. Okay, review on project-based learning. And there was no date with that one. And it just went into that. the bibliography too. That's freaking amazing. It really is. Now, I can totally see why researchers want to use a tool like this. Now, I assume you looked at, there were some for pay ones you saw out there. There were, and we, we looked at their functions a little bit. This seemed to do everything that the for pay ones did. Um, and we had discussed it that if this wasn't working for me, we'd look at other options. But there has been nothing that I've needed that I haven't been able to do with Zotero. In fact, discover things all the time that it's like, yay! It's really very this. powerful for taking these APA format, or these scholarly formatted, I think it's more than just APA, but the main the main formats of PDFs and articles, taking them into the database. Now, I did see some functions too. There's some functions for bringing in scanned copies of things, but you can't, there's a little more manual work to get those in the database. But honestly, if you're writing a large dissertation or a large research work, it's going to be worth to set those fields up once and then have the automatic bibliographies, the automatic citations. That is really amazing. You know what? I'm, I'm going to go. If they take donations, I'm going to go send them a donation right now. You guys should too if you're using this product because, <laughs> honestly, <laughs> I don't even write this kind of thing, and I think it's freaking awesome. So it makes her happy. It makes me happy. It's open source, so it makes you guys happy. I can't, uh, I can't say anything more about it. it. It works is all I can say. And yes, if you have to use Windows, there's Windows versions. If you have to use Microsoft Word, yes, they have a Word plugin too. But, you know, we're open source over here, guys. So, you know, we're living that dream. Anything else that you want to show off? There's a lot more stuff in there, but that's all we're going to show this video. So check it out. Tips, tricks, how-tos. Head over to mxlinux.org or throw up a post at form.mxlinux.org. This is Dolphin Oracle. And Mrs. Oracle. Signing off. <laughs> <laughs> Have a great night. <laughs>